Sophia in this. Oh She'll yeah. Just stay here. That'd be good. Yeah. And then we'll just trail back. Today we are heading in the direction of Staniel Key. So we're picking up our new crew member, Frank, at Staniel on the 31st. So we want to just make sh doubly sure that we're there by that time. And today is the 25th. So we're going to pick up Anchor and Herbie is doing his darndest to secure Sophia so that what happened to Tooth doesn't happen to her because she is actually too big to fit on the deck. So we can't carry her that way and it's kind of a pain to deflate and inflate her. So because we're now paranoid, he has put a much larger painter on Sophia and then a safety line attached to the painter so that in case it breaks, there's a safety line. <laughs> and then we have a second painter as well. So, Sophia will not be going anywhere except with us. plan right now with a reefed main and a reefed jib so uh, we're we're moving along quite nicely on our way to Staniel Key we'll probably get about halfway there today Okay, so we anchored near the Maldivar Keys, or however it's pronounced, and it, we're about 11 miles north of Staniel Key. And today's raining and it's blowing in the 20s, but tomorrow's gonna be worse. So I'd rather get two big majors anchored by the Pig Beach where we'd be protected from the southerly wind and just have fun there rather than staying here where it's a little bumpy and really windy and there's nothing to do. The reason she's not out on days like today is because I asked her not to. It's it's an 11 mile sail. I can do that. I'm not going to get tired and 
I get wet, she doesn't have to. She can stay inside and stay warm, and she's happy and comfortable. And that makes me happy, knowing that she's happy and comfortable. So, it's not that she doesn't want to. She actually offers the sale and the do it. I just tell her no, because I don't want her to have to go through that. I'd rather do it for her and, and she not need to. So, we're gonna get the anchor up, and then we're gonna get sailing, and we're gonna make our way. was horrible so after we got into way too much wind had pretty much no visibility and there's these giant mega yachts that are just booking it probably to Staniel Key because that's where everyone wants to go but they have no nav lights on they don't respond on the radio channel 16 72 68 nothing like they're just going dark and it's like one of them we we're on a collision course and we got really close because I assumed that Sailboat, powerboat, he'd understand right away. I don't even know if someone was at the helm. So, after that, we're like, no, no more of this. And then the winds were at 40 knots, we're like, let's turn around. So we came back, we anchored, we're charging up the motor. It's a 10 mile run, so if we can leave here and do five knots, it's two hours and we're there. So I'm hoping that if the weather calms down later today, we'll go later on. If not, we'll go tomorrow if the weather looks better. are trying this again. Um, the winds are still 25 knots and it's gonna suck but it's either that or stay here for two or three more days. So we're gonna tough it up and get to Staniel Key where we'll have hopefully a quieter anchorage and maybe even access to land. big majors and uh, we got here late last night and it's way more beautiful by the day but we're really excited to see these these pigs so something just fell off the motor and Herbie had to dive down to go get it it was this <laughs> And we're in about 10 feet of water. And he somehow found it and then retrieved it from the bottom. And he's trying to troubleshoot the motor because we are at the beach with the pigs, but we cannot get the motor to start. And with this dinghy, with Sophia, we can't really row. So this is kind of our only hope.
So no one is actually sure how these pigs originally got to this island, but there are a couple theories. One is that the pigs were left here by people that were planning to come back and get them for food, and another is that a ship sank somewhere and the pigs swam to shore and have been here ever since. However, now it's more of a tourist attraction than anything else, uh, which is clear by all these like 50 or so boats that are around us and people bring in new pigs to replenish, so it's not really a wonder, but um, which was a little disappointing to find out, but it's still fun to go see some pretty tame pigs. We ended up having to paddle. I'm taking a little break. Now we're gonna resume. We were a bit overwhelmed by the crowds of people at the Pig Beach, so we ended up having to row back to the boat, and Herbie spent the rest of the afternoon working on rebuilding the motor. After spending all day rebuilding this thing, it started once, so we're gonna try it again and go for a little ride. Moment of truth. Woo! All right. <laughs> We saw that the only people on the beach at that moment were the owners who were feeding them, so we thought that we'd stop by one last time to get some alone time with the piggies. We came back when we saw that nobody was here. <laughs> so we want to get a chance to experience the pigs without hordes of people. Hi! We don't have food for you, I'm sorry. He knows. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm not gonna talk to you. Yet. Yeah. Daisy and, and Big Mama Farmer. Okay. Yeah. Dear, dear 
<laughs> you got a crazy daisy and, and big mama karma. You know what karma means, right? Yeah. Punch in the butt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Daisy's a psycho. <laughs> now we're gonna go off back to the boat for a second and then we're gonna go to uh Staniel Key. Staniel Key, that's right. We're gonna go to Staniel Key. Our day improved massively with the working motor. <laughs> Well, that's the islands for you. We went to go have dinner at this place that says it's open on Tuesdays, but it was closed. <laughs> so we're going back to the yacht club to see if we can get food there. And if not, then we'll cook. Such is life. I got a cock cowboy sandwich. We are about to go to the Thunderball Grotto. Yes, today we're going to be cleaning the bottom of the boat. Yes, quite. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.